Hey, this is Jake and Josh from Greta Van Fleet, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia, and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Jake and Josh from Greta Van Fleet. Hello. Hello. Hi, Thanks for having us. Thank you so much for joining me. How are you two doing? Pretty good. Yeah. A little tired, and I, mm -hmm. I got a lot of. I could go for a manicure. I. That's a shame. <laughs> a nice martini. Gonna be good. No, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. That's good. Yeah, that's of right. course. I'd rather be I'm on the verge of feeling like I'm, I've died. So <laughs> thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah. Is that just the tour van, or van like like kicking in and that kind of stuff? It's just like I just think it's just uh, insane travel all the time. Mm -hmm. We have a few days off coming up, so that'll be nice. Get into some nature. Mm -hmm. You know, amazing. I know that you've been in Toronto for a couple of days. So how have us Canucks been treating you guys? Pretty great. We yeah. feel right at home. I mean, we're from like just Hop just skipping a jump the border in Michigan, so <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. And you think we would have been here earlier, but we haven't never ever been here. And I actually quite really like it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Good. We've been to Bahrain before we were in Canada. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't Isn't know how that, that works. Wrong? That's strange. Yeah. It's just one of those things where it just never lined up, and you just never travel or yeah, took trips. I, I and guess, and there was yeah. just so many dates with different shows going on, and finally we made our way here. It feels about right. Yeah, know? well, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Well, I, I like I'm speaking on behalf of Canada, by the way. Yeah, there. Yeah, it's yeah. like welcome <laughs> to our country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we, we were up um, at Blues Blues Fest. Was it, what was the one in Quebec? Yeah. Quebec was it? Oh, S International Summer Fest. Yeah, was that it? Yeah. Yeah, there was about seventy thousand people there. Amazing. And it was like welcome to Canada. Feel pretty at home. <laughs> but you, you might as well speak. Out of this. <laughs> when you have that many people and you're trying to focus on a show, is it hard to at times when you're like, wow, this is just look out there? And to that extent, yes. When it's that number of people, that's when I sort of you know get a little you know in, in, like intrepidated because mm -hmm. my, my like, I, I could be totally psychologically there. But physically, my <laughs> legs but it, it, at that show were getting a little, you know, weak. Hmm. I thought, that's, that's strange. I'm not going to lock them. Yeah. You know, I just keep it <laughs> yeah. real loose. I always find myself playing on, like, a different plane when I, there's that many people. Like, I'm just, my, just everything is totally elevated, all senses, all, yeah. all you know, my, and then my playing just goes through the roof. It's like, amazing. It's great. Yeah, yeah no, well, the voice is such a physical thing. I don't know if it's always that way for me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you can use them as bats. We were talking about yeah, that before. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm still doing it. Well, I loved hearing that whenever you go to a city, you usually don't leave without a new article of clothing. So, have you been able to yes, find anything true. while here? Any good finds on this tour? Yes. Yes, okay. I went to a Blue Jays game. I Actually, saw you repping yeah, that at Rebel. Yeah. Yes. And so I've got that piece now. Nice. Lovely piece, really. So, I haven't had a chance. No, I haven't had a chance to go out and look around for that stuff yet. Okay. But next time maybe. I was a little disappointed, but we were. It's pretty. It was pretty busy, you know. At least you have a good excuse, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was on the beach anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping martinis on the beach. Yeah. Not found yeah. anything yet. <laughs> Well, for me, the first tune that you ever recorded being Highway Tune is one of my favorite tracks by you guys. So I was wondering, when you are traveling from place to place on the highway, are there any go-to bands that you love listening to, any tunes that you love jamming? Ooh, that's, we listen to quite a bit of Adele. Can you believe that? Really? Yeah. I like Fleet, Adele. I like Fleet Foxes. There's a new band, Cloves. She's very cool. Okay. She's very good. Um, yeah, the Fleet Foxes is a good one. They're amazing. Hel Helplessness Blues, I think, Isn't it? as an album, is like one of the You best can't help but ever. harmonize any time you listen to a Fleet yeah. Foxes song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It kind of like, it, like you were saying, when you're on stage in front of that many people, it's like Elevates. this elevated yeah. thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Joni Mitchell, I like listening to. Love John Denver. Not all of it's That's great. That's awesome. But a lot of it is phenomenal stuff. And, and what about you? What do you like listening to? <laughs> For me, I've been listening to a lot of UK stuff, so like the Wombats, Mystery oh, yeah, Jets, yeah. Bombay Bicycle Club, I adore. Those are, they're cool. They're amazing, yeah. They're actually in Toronto, I think, this Sunday with Weezer. So that's right, sick. Cool. Yeah, no so way. there's some people I've been jamming lately. Yeah, yeah. right on. <laughs> so why can you tell me about Tom Hanks approving the forthcoming album release? Oh my yes. god, yes. Tom well, it's been Tom oh. Hanks approved, I guess. I guess, yeah. <laughs> no, it's really funny because you're sitting in the, his wife kind of brought him in because he was Wilson, coming from Wilson. a shoot. In Louisiana, I think, and um, and he's just driven ten hours. So he's a little tired, and she she brought him in, and he, he, and he listened to a few of the tracks over the new album, and he goes, "Boys, that's just bitching." I think that's <laughs> just. I mean, like, all right, and he really did like it. He that's very neat. That. So, yeah, very sweet guy, you know. Yeah, oh, he's pretty good. Really but when, when, pretty you know, it's like when you're thinking about it, it's like when when would you ever sort of 
perceive that as a possibility. Yeah. You know, we're going to the to, into work today. You know, oh, and Tom Hanks is going to drop by around. You know. <laughs> It's one of those things, you know? I'm sure you've had a lot of those serial moments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just last night, Dave Grohl came running on the bus. Our bus. And he started pouring Jaeger shots. Because he brought Jaeger And then on. I came in slightly after, and he was in there with Sam and Josh taking shots. And mm-hmm. I started yelling at him and swearing. I'm like, get off my bus! <laughs> and he's, saying, he's like, oh, it's medicinal, it's medicinal. And he's and he just, was fun. he has this energy of like a... a, a child you know he's just so uh, outgoing in touch yeah and, and enthusiastic and alive and in love with with, with with music I mean they have a jam room behind the stage so they just play music all day so and they but go, yeah, so they're playing funny, like three hour shows you know? and stuff they're supposed to go on to like I was like half dressed and they're you know? jamming before they go on for like a couple hours and they get on and they end up playing a three hour show it's, it's pretty cool to be a part of, right? Yeah, absolutely. No big. <laughs> not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yeah. Well, seeing that you have been able to meet a lot of very cool names in the industry, not just in the industry, like Tom Hanks. Um, who was that one person, though, where if you kind of learned that they discovered your music and loved them, you would just really freak out down inside? Paul McCartney. Ooh. That would be pretty good for me, I think. Well, that's a good answer. Yeah, Paul McCartney is pretty okay. good. I mean, we, they have Elton John hanging out and coming and listening, and, and that was just surreal. I bet. You know, that's just like... And that that would that's what I would have said if he hadn't already come to to you know or had us you know play him. but yeah so that that was I was pretty pretty amazing maybe Neil Young okay Neil Young yeah well, yeah because he's yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he's, that yeah I feel like if he yeah, if he liked right. it then you're it right. must be really good because he's <laughs> because he I don't know I feel imagine it, it, it at this point in his career he's probably he you know. He knows what he likes, he yeah. knows what he doesn't like, you know. That'd be a pretty nice nod to come from him. Yeah. yeah. Really. Not too shabby. <laughs> Other than that, I think we're just doing what we're doing. Uh, yeah. We're just hanging out, doing our thing. It's cool. You never know who's going to be the next person to be like, hey, guys, I dig you. So I know. Right. Just yeah. always keep your minds open and never kind no, of block Lance that Armstrong. off. Yeah. We, we, we ran into Lance Armstrong at a... Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> at a, at a, we, that. went, we played a bike race, and it was a small thing. It was one off, and, and we were still in, like, a van... And Carson City, Carson Nevada. City, was it? Yeah, yeah, Carson City, and and he, and we were just hanging out, and he just showed up, and we were talking to him, a nice guy, and like, and um, our our day to day manager, was like, do you know who that is? You're just talking to? No, no, that was Lance Armstrong. You know, you didn't, oh, uh, <laughs> you didn't even know in the moment. No, wow. Uh, so that 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 kind of stuff, it just kind of like yeah. Strange how that works out. Maybe next time it'll be Neil Young and Paul McCartney. Yeah. Never, yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Never know. <laughs> Why not? They both at Why the same not? time, right? <laughs> that would just, I don't think I'd be able to talk. I just, the I just stop my down. tracks. Yeah. See, there Neil are those very few people up. that can do that and have yeah. the ability where you're like, woof. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, everybody else I guess, is a mutual sort of level of respect in the sense For that, sure. hey, you know, I've grown up listening to your music. You appreciate my music. And it's like, that's a phenomenal thing, but Paul McCartney mm-hmm. and Neil Young would probably be those people that are like, oh, yeah. <laughs> very neat. <laughs> well, after I listened to the band's music, I remember following you guys on all the social platforms and like, you guys have such a cool and groovy aesthetic. Like, I love throwback clothes and it's like very close to home for the stuff that I love buying as well. Yeah. So I was wondering though, when you look back at older fashion fads that you went through, are there any that you're a little embarrassed of and you're like, oh, why did I do that? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, other than kind of looking like a uh, fraggled face, like, you know, a baseball kind of kid <laughs> chewing a big wad of bubble gum, maybe, you know. Yeah. That might have been it. Yeah. I had this one shirt that was all white, and it had green stripes on it. And I still think it's really cool, but it just fit me like crap. I used to be Ron okay. Howard. And so I just didn't like it. <laughs> I had that one shirt, though. That was... <laughs> you know what I mean? What was that? Uh, in in uh, the Andy Griffith show? Yeah. yeah that kind of wow. thing. Wow. Okay, that's a look. That's a look, <laughs> right? Amazing, right? Well, here on the site, we not only interview musicians like yourselves, but I also interview wrestlers. So I was really? wondering. Oh yeah, I love it. Nice. So I was it's wondering if you guys. That's fun. Energetic. Most of them are crazy to interview, yeah. especially when you interview them in their personas and stuff. Yes. They can go a little bit off the rails. I could do wow. my persona for you. I was about to ask, what, do you have any? <laughs> no, I don't have any. <laughs> Actually, yes, but I, I, it's I, I'm not drunk enough right now, so it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me a little bit about it. Well, he's his name is Jimmy Gonads, and he's oh, just no. politically incorrect in every okay. way. Oh, he's, he is. just kind of he embodies <laughs> it. Uh, lives. He kind of embodies sort of a lot of uh, a lot of the, that um, the political garbage that you you just don't. 
most people just don't have any, you know, palate for it. Okay. So it, the idea was just to embody, you know, hate and fear. <laughs> you know, it was like a scary, you know. All it's right. just like, uh, it would be like maybe a cross between... Tony Clifton and Hunter Thompson or something. I don't know. Good morning, Charlie, the alcoholic Australian. Nice to meet you. That's just something That's you it. made up on the spot. <laughs> what? I was just jealous you had one of my dinner. Yeah. Why was there already one that you kind of had? Are you, are you wrestling fans or just something no, that randomly you thought of? No, I just kind of thought about it. I don't know. Do we know always just Kaufman? inventing. Yeah, of course. And he did the wrestling yeah. thing like that? Yeah, that was so Tony that Clifton is one Tony of his Clifton's. characters that I thought was just brilliant. I, I don't know. We always just kind of making up characters and sketches and things, you know. Okay. Yeah, we were, we've always done that. So. Oh, really? It's something you've been doing since you were little? Just yeah. kind of yeah. letting the imagination go wild? Yeah, yeah. totally. Hmm. And yeah. If you were to kind that of... Would be mine. If you're going to keep these personas and have a band play your entrance or out into the ring, which band would do that for you? Mm. We had talked about dressing in disguises oh, and yeah. opening for ourselves. But we would, that would, but be, we would be kind of like right, spoofing right, the Grateful Dead. The world. We're glad they had us uh, open for them. <laughs> we were going to be like Dr. Nixon's... Uh, what was it? Electric Dr. Nixon's... Light. Electric liquid light, light show experiment yeah, or it. something. Yeah, was it's Sam? like one of those hippie jams. Yeah. Was that when Sam came up and it was like Ormsby, Ormsby bug nut in the fish dish. <laughs> and what stopped you? Why haven't you done this thing. yet? I don't know. We actually, yeah, honestly, probably only a matter of time. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just be waiting. It just for sounds it. like too too much fun, too entertaining, yeah. not to do. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing yeah, it. Yeah, totally. I'll know. <laughs> yeah, you'll know. <laughs> Well, just to wrap things up, I do want to circle things back to the fans we'll be viewing. Is there anything you want to say? Because your fan base is absolutely incredible. The music yeah, is you. The music is you. Uh, yeah, we're uh, finishing up now with our you know, first full-length album. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're really excited to you know, get it out. And see we have a new think. single coming out this month. Amazing. Oh, 17th? The 17th, yes. When the curtain oh, falls, uh huh. Oh there it is. <laughs> There's a little promotional thing. Very nice. uh, Tuesday. Ooh. When the curtain falls. Yes. That's super exciting. When the curtain will fall. When the curtain will fall. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I think you got like it. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something else. Something like. <laughs> I mean, like when the, and the when the curtain falls. The show must go on. Or some serious. cliche Hollywood <laughs> bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> I think those are beautiful parting words. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. It was an absolute pleasure. Yeah, thank um, you. Likewise, thank you. Until next, next time, we're going to dress up. Please. Yeah, I'll uh, even come completely different. I'll yes, supposed to do an interview. No one will even know what's my show. Yes, it would be fantastic. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> that would be amazing. And remember, to everybody viewing, you can visit us at alishatoot.com for all exclusive interviews and features. See ya.